Well, hey guys, does your eczema always seem to itch more at night just when you're trying to fall asleep? Well, you're not imagining things. There's actually real science behind why that happens. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Dre. I'm a board certified dermatologist. Today, I want to talk about why it is that eczema often flares up overnight and how scratching in your sleep affects your skin's healing. Importantly, keep watching because we're going to talk about what you can do to Finally, sleep and heal your eczema better. Get yourself some relief. We're gonna cover the nighttime itch cycle, how poor sleep worsens inflammation, and I'm gonna be giving you my dermatologist-approved bedtime routine for calmer skin. So let's get into it. We all know sleep is important, but when it comes to eczema, sleep really matters. Why is that? Well, sleep and eczema are really connected in both directions. When you don't sleep well, your body is going to be producing a lot more stress hormones and inflammatory signals, which make your eczema much worse. When your eczema flares up, it's a lot harder to fall asleep and to stay asleep because you're constantly being aroused to itch to scratch. It becomes a vicious cycle. Worse eczema meaning less sleep and less sleep meaning worse eczema. Studies actually show that both adults and children with eczema get less deep sleep and wake up more often during the night. So this means more daytime fatigue, more stress in your life, and a skin barrier that's really struggling to keep up and to repair itself. So part of treating eczema isn't just about the creams, the steroid ointments. It's actually about protecting your sleep as well. It can really help you or your child, a loved one, someone you may be caring for, turn a corner when it comes to eczema flare-ups. Why is it that eczema seems to get so itchy at nighttime? Well, this is a common phenomenon that many experience and it actually comes down to your body's circadian rhythm. There's a natural 24-hour rhythm that controls things like temperature, hormones, and inflammation. Here's what happens. At night, you're your body temperature and blood flow to the skin actually increase a bit. That warmth makes the little nerve endings that course through your skin more sensitive, more hyper irritable. So those itch sensations, they feel a lot stronger. They intensify just because of that subtle change in temperature and blood flow. At the same time though, your body is releasing a lot more of something called histamine in the evening. That by itself can trigger itch and eczema prone skin. Then another key factor is your cortisol levels drop at night. So cortisol is a hormone. It's your body's built-in anti-inflammatory hormone, and it needs to be kept in check, okay? When it drops, inflammation can actually flare, and that may be a big driver for flare-ups of itch. Then throw into the mix dry indoor air from maybe your heating or even your air conditioning, and your skin barrier now is going to be losing even more water, even more moisture. You have an increase in blood flow that's going to facilitate more water loss, and then you have a dry climate in your bedroom that is going to increase the impetus for water to exit your skin. And so with that drop in moisture, you can get, well, flare-ups of dry, itchy skin. Just at the time you're trying to rest, it's like your skin gets warmer, then becomes drier, more inflamed. It's really the perfect setup for exacerbation of itch at night. Now, if you have ever struggled with eczema flare-ups and itchy skin, you know how incredibly annoying it is to have someone tell you, oh, just stop scratching. Yeah, I understand. I understand. What is it exactly that's happening though when we scratch in our sleep? Why is it a concerning behavior we need to nip in the bud? Scratching isn't just uncomfortable. It actually damages the skin barrier even more. It's one of the most maladaptive responses we were engineered to have, okay? It really does not do you any favors. Tiny breaks on the surface of the skin not only lead to more water loss out of the skin, but they open up the opportunity for more irritating stuff to get in and even worse, bacteria. Those little tears, those traumatic injuries can introduce bacteria like Staphylococcus aureus from your hands, your nails, a common bacteria found on eczema skin. And each time you scratch, you're triggering more inflammation and the release of more itch promoting signals that ultimately make you want to scratch more. You can develop a full-blown staph skin infection known as impetigo on top of things, which will also drive even worse, more inflamed, more 
aggravated, more uncomfortable eczema. Yeah, it's really a vicious cycle. And when you scratch, it also releases some of those itch signals and gets them kind of revved up and stubbornly revved up. Makes them take longer to go away, to calm down. The skin can thicken as a result, okay? And so it takes a lot longer, not only for the itch to go away, but for your skin to heal and go back to looking like your normal background skin of unaffected areas. Breaking the cycle at night is actually one of the most effective ways to really calm eczema overall. But I know that's easier said than done. And don't worry, we will get into some tips and tricks later on in this video. I also want to talk though about how it is that poor sleep specifically is affecting your skin. So when eczema keeps you up all night, it's not really just your mood that suffers because you're sleep deprived and more irritable, but your skin literally cannot heal as well. Deep sleep is really when your body is producing certain growth factors that help repair tissues and ultimately strengthen the skin barrier. So if you're waking up constantly scratching, that repair time, it gets cut short. Lack of sleep is also gonna increase stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline, which can drive inflammation. Not to mention your immune system becomes a lot more reactive and those eczema flare-ups, they start to become more frequent, more stubborn, more long-lasting, more severe. Over time, this also fuels anxiety, depression, overall mood changes, which can make the perception of itch even worse. Yes, being depressed or anxious can make itchy skin feel itchier. It's a neurochemical loop type of thing. More stress, more scratching, more inflammation, less sleep. When patients start sleeping better, the eczema often starts to turn a corner and improve, start responding to medication. Sometimes we don't even need to add a medication or change a medication. Sometimes the sleep alone plus a good moisturizing routine does the trick. Let's talk about what you can do to stop that cycle so that you get better sleep, so that your skin can heal, so that you suffer less. This is my step-by-step -step dermatologist recommended nighttime eczema routine. In the evening time before you go to bed, take a bath or a shower. Always bathe at the end of the day, all right? If you want to bathe in the morning, that's fine, but always bathe at the end of the day because certain allergens that settle on the skin, they're not going to help your eczema out if you sleep that way. All right, so take a short lukewarm, all right? Not scalding hot, lukewarm. Remember, you don't want to heat up the skin too much because that's a driver. So lukewarm bath or shower, but don't stay in there all night. No more than 10 to 15 minutes. The longer you're in there, it starts to really drive water out of the skin and can aggravate things. So timing is everything. You want to be using gentle, fragrance-free cleansers like a colloidal oatmeal base based body wash. I will list some down below in the description box. After you rinse the skin, when you step out of the shower, pat dry the skin. Don't rub it aggressively with a towel. Just pat it dry of visible drips of water. The skin at that point though is still a little damp, all right? There's no visible water, but the skin is kind of a little damp. This is actually the time to be applying a thick moisturizer or an ointment. And I tell people, you know, consider looking for a moisturizing cream with ceramides because those applied to the skin have really been shown to be helpful for eczema as far as improving the production of skin's own ceramides. These are lipids naturally found in skin's outermost layer that are integral for proper barrier function. But even just plain petroleum jelly, aka Vaseline, although you don't need to use the branded version, really is a great option for maximum barrier protection. The goal here is to really trap that moisture in while your skin is still a little bit damp. Now, if your eczema is severe and really flaring and quite uncomfortable, here's where I recommend a technique that is a bit laborious, a bit intimidating, but really can help quite a bit. And it is the wet wrap technique. Basically what you're going to do is, again, when you get out of the shower, you pat dry the skin of visible drips, but the skin is still technically damp. That's when you're going to apply your treatment cream or, and or your moisturizer, okay? Then you're going to wrap the area with a damp cotton fabric. You can get an old pair of pajamas that you have soaked a bit, wrung out of water. They need to be a little damp. You can even get some gauze, soak it, squeegee it out and wrap like your leg, your arm, and then you're going to put a dry layer on over it. So get a larger pair of cotton pajamas that you put on over. And really this little mummy suit that you're putting on, as wild as it sounds, really, really, really can help your skin barrier start to turn a corner so that when you go to bed at night, you are not suffering with itch. As far as itch relief though, before bed, if your dermatologist has prescribed a topical steroid or a non-steroid topical anti-inflammatory medication, make sure you're applying that first to 
active areas of the eczema. Okay, so anywhere that's raw, red, rashy, not just everywhere, but to those areas specifically. Then layer your moisturizer on over that, as well as to the surrounding skin. If you get nighttime itch, talk to your dermatologist about possibly the benefit of taking an oral antihistamine. It can help you fall asleep a little bit, okay? It makes you a little groggy, less aware of the itch, and you get better sleep. But always check with your doctor first. This isn't right for everyone, especially older adults. And set your expectations. I think a lot of people with eczema know about antihistamines and they think that they treat the itch. They don't. The science behind itch and eczema does not actually really benefit from antihistamines, the itch itself. The antihistamines really do the most benefit when used at night, basically to help you be a little groggy and not scratch as much. Then you want to check your bedroom. You really want to optimize your bedroom environment. I suggest keeping your room slightly cool. Again, you're, you you want to prevent getting overheated because that's going to make itch and transepidermal water loss much worse. Anywhere from 65 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. I know that sounds like a lot, but trust me, it can make a difference. Cool air really can reduce itch intensity. Consider running a humidifier though in the bedroom if your air is dry. Choose smooth cotton or satin sheets and pajamas that are breathable, okay? You don't want to get overheated. You don't want to start sweating because sweat is another big eczema trigger. So make sure the fabrics are breathable, lightweight, smooth on the skin surface. There are no weird like little seams. I mean, it's really princess in the pea, but do what you need to do. Get, get yourself a pair of really comfortable pajamas to sleep in. I also suggest keeping your nails short and for your kids especially because the longer the nails, the more inclined you are to really get in there and scratch, scratch, scratch. Also, you can try wearing gloves to sleep. That will get in the way of you scratching. I remember as a child, I used to sleep with socks on my hands to keep me from scratching in my sleep. It really can make a difference. Then this is important. Uh, you really want to make sure that you're doing a mind body wind down at the end of the night. Stress worsens eczema, no matter the time of day. So if you have been doom scrolling on the internet and you, then you think you're going to get in bed and not be all like aroused and worried about whatever doom and gloom you saw last. Well, you have another thing coming. So try and turn the devices off an hour before you go to bed. You've heard that before, but I think it really can make a difference for people's stress and ultimately in the long run help. And make sure that you do something relaxing. Maybe have some warm beverage, although avoid eating a large meal before you go to bed. That can keep you up at night. And do something like read a book that is not overly stimulating. <laughs> Look at a magazine if you must. Just the movement of your eyes across the page will help you relax and allow you to drift off into sleep. Remember, a calm mind helps calm the skin. Most important, when should you see a dermatologist? If you or your child are scratching every single night, you're losing sleep, you're waking up bleeding or oozing, it's time to see a dermatologist, especially when it comes to your children because it really negatively can impact their mental health tremendously in so many ways. I'm telling you, children with eczema who are struggling with this, sometimes silently, you know, their parents might not be aware this is happening. They often get misdiagnosed as having learning disabilities. It's not that they have any problem with learning, memory, attentiveness. It's that they're sleep deprived. And so it's something that if people don't ask kids about or have some sense of, it can go miss. They can get labeled as having things they don't actually have. And then of course the eczema is flaring and they're itchy and it's just, it's really miserable. And it even can impact their growth. You don't need to live like that. We have excellent treatments available for atopic dermatitis. So many more new and sophisticated targeted therapies that we didn't even have when I was a dermatology resident. Yes, we still use steroid creams as a mainstay, but we have so many newer treatments like dupilumab and tralukinumab. <laughs> Those are fancy names for medications that are really a lot more specific for the immune inflammatory abnormality that underlies eczema flare-ups, really treating it from the inside out. And if infection is a concern, that can be addressed too. 
For example, impetigo can be treated with topical mupirocin ointment. And so the goal is to get your eczema quiet enough that you can sleep soundly and just heal your body naturally. People with eczema can get to a point where they don't need to be using medications daily because their eczema is so well controlled by just moisturizing the skin, avoiding triggers and lifestyle factors. That's really what we want for you. A cure may not be possible, but that is like a great therapeutic goal to get to. So let's do a quick recap. The problem is itch worsening at night. Why it happens and what helps? Well, of course, itch worsens at night because the skin gets warmer. There's a little more histamine, cortisol drops. So you want a cool room. You might use an antihistamine, barrier repairing, moisturizing techniques, scratching during sleep. It's a habit loop, barrier damage. So make sure your room is cool. Consider an antihistamine if that is helpful. Barrier repair, moisturizers, of course, and the bathing techniques I outlined. Scratching during sleep is another one. It's this habit loop where you have barrier damage and worsening eczema. Cotton gloves, wet wraps, thicker emollients really can help put the brakes on that process. Then you've got just poor sleep overall, worsening eczema due to inflammation plus stress, delayed healing, having a consistent sleep hygiene routine and medical treatment where needed. That that is the, the solution there. So the key takeaway is you want to protect your sleep to protect your skin. Nighttime is when your body is healing and that's when your eczema can heal as well. So eczema does not have to steal your sleep and with the right routine and medical care, you can really break that itch scratch cycle and wake up with calmer, healthier skin. I really hope you guys found this video helpful. On the end slate is going to be one of my more recent videos on eczema. I have many on this channel, so make sure you search Dr. Dre eczema and you will find many videos at this point. But let me know in the comments what has helped you in managing itching at night. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.